Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with some Brute Cemetery. So basically it's one of these decks which is not loved in the community for various reasons. Maybe because you basically can play it first play and almost always get away with it. Uh, this time I'm not gonna be having a cemetery in the first hand uh, so I'll have to play uh, some other place instead. He's gonna be playing uh, Piercing Archer and Helicopter at the bridge, which is, well, I would say suboptimal, because first of all, I could have played just a flying bomb on them, and since a flying bomb or poison are very common choices, uh, uh, this uh, shouldn't be a surprise for him, so I would say a pretty poor defense against this brute for my opponent, and also, the novelty in this deck will be me playing a uh, mother skeleton, so basically, it's a uh, very underused card uh, in a sense that pretty much no one plays it and I don't think it's a good either so uh, basically it has some explanation why no one is playing it. I probably should have like spelled this piercing archer because I definitely had a mana for doing so uh, but I didn't because I thought uh, I'm gonna be still comfortable uh, either okay he's gonna be playing freeze I'm I'm okay with that because since he played freeze uh, he's not gonna be having an actual response against uh, my uh, longsword. Easy. Now that note, I'm gonna be cycling another Mother Devil in the back. And usually you don't want to play Mother Devil against Piercing Archer because Piercing Archer is a excellent counter against Mother Devil. But I'm gonna have some tricks up my sleeve uh, to counter his counter. And since I have the access to his side of the board, it should be relatively easy uh, doing so. So I'm gonna just play Brute. I'm gonna play Cemetery uh, very swiftly uh, as my skeletons uh, all die. And both towers will walk onto the Brute. And that's pretty much the perfect setup you can get with this deck. Where your uh, Brute is supported by the uh, Mother Devil and your Cemetery is supported by Brute pretty much. Very happy to see that we're gonna get it in the game number one as my opponent just gives up and throws down the towel. And we're gonna gain we're gonna go to the game number two after this victory. Next opponent on the list will be just for Fanzis, who's gonna start actually with a Fire Tiny, which I think I can afford to ignore. He plays an Ice Tiny as well, so I believe he's gonna be playing some sort of uh, uh, some sort of uh, machine gun deck, as I've uh, met this deck already. He's gonna get a very nice micro against my troops. He's gonna play a skeletons as well as the. Okay, he, he's not gonna be playing skeletons, so he's very confident in his micro, and yeah, he's gonna have a very good start. I usually would play just a flying bomb on his mana collector, but uh, since. I didn't have a flying bomb in starting hand and he pretty much instantly played a, a mana collector. Uh, I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble. Also I've cycled shield skeletons here just to uh, just to enable myself for playing a brute into his machine gun because with this mana advantage that he has he should be doing it uh, pretty soon. So here it is, uh, actual machine gun. Uh, he's gonna get a full counter on my uh, on my tie on my devils which was absolutely bad I thought he's not gonna add another tiny and yeah he's he's already <laughs> he's already spamming as if he were to win and I would say yeah wow um, yeah I, I'm gonna just say nice play because he played it nice and that's definitely not the way I wanted this match to go and he just gets away with pretty much the best case scenario for him. Uh, also I would love to get the shield skeletons against his every single uh, against his every single uh, thingy uh, longsword so I can just get the good traits. Also he's gonna be playing fire tiny. I'm gonna actually have to prevent this damage because well as you probably can tell, I don't want to take more damage and I have to uh, have at least one tower alive if I want uh, main, to make this uh, comeback real. I'm gonna play some Brute, I'm gonna play some Longsword, uh, I'm gonna try to counter his uh, Longsword. His Bomber will put a lot of work and yeah, I think this uh, game is already wrapped up. Yeah, he's 
Uh, he's once again spamming nice play for whatever reason. I don't know what I did to you, buddy, but like, it's very impolite and actually Machine Gun Connects, which is absolutely, yeah, yeah, he's, he, he's gonna just spam emotes and that's pretty much something that you have to expect. My opponent had a very good matchup against me and pretty much made no mistake. He, he, he <laughs> at this point, it's just hilarious because I don't deserve to BM that hard, but like, uh, uh, it is what it is. I'm not gonna even cut it because my opponent is just toxic about uh, him winning a video game. Uh, without attaching emotions to it though, sometimes you just have to take the L and uh, move on. So we're gonna just jump to the game number three. All right, in, in the next game, we're gonna actually face Scythe with zero medals. Let's see how this game will turn. We're gonna just cycle Devil's first play. Unfortunately, we don't have Brute, so we cannot, like, realistically support it. He's gonna be playing a Flying Robot, which is just annoying play, because I would love to get some things uh, in front of the... Oh my god. Okay, so my opponent even will get a... Uh, Okay, wait, his Pusiatra died before Flying Robot. I thought the Flying Robot will cross first, but appeared to be not true. Also, my opponent's Fawn King locks onto the Brute while being surrounded by the Skeleton. It's very cool to see. Unfortunately, not very cool for me to see. So, I would say very uh, unfortunate interactions uh, for me to start this video. And yet, we're getting away with it because we're making it up with the strategy. My opponent will be playing Digger to defend against pretty much the onslaught. That's why you don't play uh, Flying Robot first play because you're gonna just get overrun and my opponent loses pretty much in the first minute of the game. We're gonna just jump to the game number four. And we're gonna get one more chance to actually win against Jan F just from far just for funsies, so we're gonna just cycle bullets against his tiny. Obviously, we cannot do much about them. Uh, I know for a fact that attacking in this matchup will be very difficult since he has pretty much the perfect defensive resource against us as a bomber against Mother Skeleton, which is like plus three mana trade, as a long sword against a uh, uh, as a long sword against uh, the uh, brute. And has the infinite distractions against a uh, uh, longsword, so that's not gonna cut it. I'm gonna actually try to go in because honestly, why not? I have nothing better to do as for now. I'm gonna get some uh, bullets and pretty much try to break through. I don't think I will succeed at that as my longsword won't even scratch a tower, as well as. Uh, <laughs> As well, this bomber will absolutely clutch the defense for him. I'm gonna actually allow this bomber to hit my tower once. I don't think there was anything better that I could do. I'm gonna split devil, so uh, uh, the tiny placed on either side won't do much. And right now, I think I will just wait to a double mana because uh, unless he really provokes me not to, I'm gonna play brute just to be safe because. Uh, in the previous game, there was a very fortunate lock for him, uh, which uh, I don't think I want to uh, to happen in this game as well. I'm gonna get a longsword against his longsword. I would love to get a counter against this machine gun, but yeah, he's gonna right now spam emotes once again. And that's why I don't want to engage in, against this deck in single mana, because there's pretty much nothing I can do against it. I probably should have played a mother skeleton instead of a longsword, but I didn't have mana, I was just one mana short. He's very calculative, he kinda knows what he's doing when he's doing it. And right now I'm gonna just play a, a flying bomb. I'm gonna play uh, some... Shield Skeleton is on the opposite side, and right now he actually will give me some bullet value, which I absolutely do not complain about. I'm gonna actually play Brute here, since he plays uh, uh, this, uh, Mana Collector. So we're gonna just go for a push here and basically try to overrun him. I'm gonna play Cemetery, because honestly why not? I'm gonna play, play Shield Skeletons just to try to overrun his Bomber, and if I succeed, that's gonna be a very good uh, thing to see. I'm gonna actually get a lot of skeletons on the tower, which was way more than I expected. I would say this push was very successful. He starts to BM me, 
Once again, I say I don't know for what reason. Like I said, he has a very good matchup against me and right now I'm gonna just go in because I frankly don't see the better way of uh, concluding things. I'm gonna get my bullets, so the gunner will be the only defender of the cemetery, and actually skeletons will form on the tower. I think longsword will actually kill the gunner, which will be a very good conclusion. I'm gonna set up one more of these pushes, and if they succeed, obviously, I'm gonna win the game, so uh, it's already very close uh, to me winning the game. I'm gonna play... Uh, I'm gonna play the cemetery. I'm gonna get the uh, bullets down. I'm gonna get some damage, and I think right now <laughs> the game will be ours. Actually, incredible comeback. I'm gonna play uh, shield skeletons. I'm gonna play uh, some longsword. I'm gonna play uh, brute as soon as I physically can to block his aggression. And yeah, he's not gonna be on time with machine gun and this time we take the revenge in this very difficult matchup obviously he had some difficulties uh, by not having like the best uh, response against my mother skeleton which i didn't really use because of the bomber he didn't have too good response against cemetery but he had absolutely fabulous responses against a uh, brute and the longsword and flying bomb honestly isn't like the best response against a mana collector so I would say a very good matchup for him. He should be able to easily win that, but we've managed to outplay him and actually we win just by a hair. So that's gonna be the game number four, I believe, in this video. Let's jump to the game number five and wrap this video up. And here we go in the last game of today's video against Steins with eight Mels. I'm gonna actually play Mother Skeleton against this balloon. Obviously, I'm gonna take one hit and that's uh, to be expected, but uh, as the drawback, I'm gonna get some counter push going with uh, Brute and Shield Skeletons. He's gonna get a flying bomb, not even, I believe, hitting all the shields. So yeah, some shields Skeletons will survive, but then he plays a uh, T-Rex, which is a fine play. I don't think I should be sacrificing uh, more health in the future, but uh, obviously as the first play you cannot really ask for more. I've sacrificed some health to create a counter push and I didn't die after that, so I'm gonna take it as a win. I'm gonna sacrifice the longsword here and he's gonna play a flying robot, so basically I've already confirmed that my opponent will be playing a Roboloon deck, uh, which is sometimes scary to face, but against the Roboloon I think we actually have the advantage and it's gonna be uh, for a very simple reason, we basically have a very strong counter push uh, which, uh, uh, which can be played as a 10 mana timing and with that being said I'm gonna actually go once again for our 10 mana timing with Mother Skeleton and the Brute at the bridge and right now our opponent will actually resign which is very anticlimactic way to end this video because uh, I don't really believe that my opponent knew we had a matchup, but if he knew, well, he probably didn't want to suffer anymore because I know it's absolutely horrifying for Flying Robot to uh, face the Brute if uh, the Brute player knows what he's doing. And on that note, I think I'm gonna actually end the video right here. Uh, after five games, I feel like we've only lost one to just for funsies, but we've taken revenge and that's what matters. So uh, thank you for watching till the end to the video. Uh, if you aren't already, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post more in the content every single day and uh, you may learn something from my gameplay, from my uh, decks that I post or maybe you just uh, are here to uh, hear me uh, yap about strategy while, I don't know, uh, eating food yourself or watching something else. I don't know how you watch my videos, either way I appreciate you for the support and uh, if you can hit the subscribe I would absolutely love you for that. So yeah, thanks for watching till the end, once again I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.